Okay, so yesterday I reburled the backup rifle from 6.5 Creedmoor to 6 Arc. Uh, gonna shoot five rounds of uh, Hornady 108 uh, at 26.6 grains. The other Arc uh, liked that suppressed, so and I had some of that left over. Uh, and then I'm gonna do some 108s at uh, 100 or at 27.7 grains. Uh, some 108 ELDM uh, from Hornady uh, that travels at about uh, uh, 2750. Uh, some A tips with 27.7 grains in it, and some 103 ELDX with 27.7 grains in it. Uh, gonna try and rip through this as quick as possible. It's like 14 degrees out here, and my hand warmers are dying on me already. So, anyway, let's give it a rip. Uh, these will be the uh, old, slower uh, 108s that the other rifle liked. And the target is at 300 yards. Gonna just look for five rounds and get an idea what the groups are. This is five. Hopefully, I didn't screw that up. Uh, all right. On to some 108s uh, with 27.7 grains. I've previously uh, chronoed these at about 2,700 feet per second. The last one, uh, chronos at like 2580 or something like that. On to Hornady match. The other rifle absolutely hated this. Uh, I already shot a group with this at 100 yards uh, and this loved it. So uh, let's see what this does at 300. check in a minute.
Okay. Next target is going to be A tips, and it's the upper right quadrant target. But first, got to warm up my trigger finger. didn't move on me. Nope, it's still in screen. All right, again, A tips, uh, 27.7 grains of 48.95, and if I remember right, these chronoed at like 26, uh, 40 or something like that, 26.80. I don't remember. Top target. And getting a little bit of mirage off the suppressor. That's it for the A tips. 103 ELDX, 27.7 grains, 48.95. Uh, these were traveling at 27.30, I believe. Bottom target, right corner. Two, three, four. That complete set. Barrel should be thoroughly broken in by now. I am gonna go grab that target. All right, so here's the two targets from today. Uh, this target over here on the left is the 100 yard target uh, that I broke the rifle in on uh, and shot uh, the, the five different loads. Uh, out of all of this, uh, I would say that it, uh, it definitely liked the uh, 103 grain ELDX the best, uh, tightest group, uh, and then when I moved it out to 300 yards uh, with it and shot the same thing, uh, 
it seems like that opened up considerably. Everything kind of opened up. I would uh, have to get a, a, a ruler on it, but I think it's still sub MOA or really close to it. But out of all of them, I would have to venture to say that it looks like the 26.6 uh, .6 grain uh, old load that I shot the previous or the other rifle suppressed that it still likes that the best so uh to get a real apples to apples i guess i'm gonna have to i still kept some of this ammunition and i'm gonna have to bring the other rifle out and uh compare the two side by side shooting the same ammo uh if i'm gonna really be able to figure out can i load one charge that both rifles will accept uh, and like uh to you know a sub moa uh standard so there we go